Hey guys, in today's video I will show you how to recreate the logo of City Planner Plays in City Skylines with Procedural Objects. He has done a lot for me so I decided to make this video to do something back. So to create this logo you will need to download the mod Procedural Objects and I will leave a link in the description. I'm going to make this logo on a speed sign, but you can do this with any PO-able object. Be aware that the vanilla speed signs can't be PO'd, so you will need to download custom signs if you want the logo on a speed sign. First off, convert the sign to PO. You can do this by pressing Shift plus P while having it selected, or click the Convert to PO button in the top right of your screen. Next up, click the little plus icon near the object you want to edit and press the Edit button. Find the Text Customization button and click on that. Now we can really start creating the logo. First, we're going to create the blue background of the logo by adding a rectangle and moving it over the sign. For this sign, the perfect size for the rectangle was 230 by 230. This really depends on the size of your sign though. Now change the color to the color of the logo. This color can be different for everyone depending on the game's light settings. Once you've found the perfect color for your background, copy the rectangle and turn it to white. This is going to be the base of the skyline in the logo. The size of this rectangle ended up being a bit too big for this sign, so this is not the final result, but you just need to play around with it. Now we are going to add a text field and add it on top of the white rectangle. We're going to write city on that. I recommend turning it into bold text to make it look better. To get the same color as the background, use the color store function inside of the color picker. This allows you to copy the color from the background and paste it for the text. The reason to do this before adding the skyline is that the letters will help position the rectangles that will function as the buildings. Next up we're going to create various other rectangles that will function as the buildings in the skyline. We won't be able to fully recreate every detail because we can only work with rectangles but we will add all the buildings in the skyline with their correct height and width. I recommend changing the rectangles to different colors temporarily so you know which rectangle is which building. This will help if you end up wanting to adjust the building a tiny bit later on. Once you've set up all buildings you want to change all of them back to white. Add another text field or copy the first one. Make sure it has a white color so you can write the rest of the text on the logo. You will need two text fields for that. I recommend using normal text for this. After you've done that, the logo is done. You can add this logo on PO-able buildings too, or just move the sign into them. This is it for today, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. 